Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. And my name's Vicky. I thought I'd introduce myself this time because I forgot last time. So uh, th this time I'm actually telling you who I am. Welcome back to another speed build. This one is building a little cute house, if I do say so myself, <laughs> using the World Adventures pack. I have had to use the base game as well because the World Adventures pack doesn't include everything to build an entire house, so you have to mix and match. But it is only the base game and World Adventures. I loved doing this house. It really spoke to me. The last time, if you haven't seen it, I did a small family home and I just I just struggle with anything that's slightly bigger than this, to be honest. This is my comfort zone. A teeny tiny little house. I did put an upstairs in because I put a ladder in to go to the upstairs, like a little loft area for a bedroom. Uh, so that was a bit different for me, but it's still very simple, to be honest with you. It didn't take me long, uh, but I really, really enjoyed it. And the reason I enjoyed it is because my house is very little i live in a little flat and i've done a lot of traveling so my flat is quite eclectic it's full of really random stuff that i've collected from around the world hardly anything matches i've got loads of plants and it, it's just random and i love it because everywhere you look there's something different and it's just fun like the woods don't match like the furniture doesn't match i mean the, it, it's just fun in here i think um Hopefully it doesn't look a mess. Uh, I, yeah, I think it's just fun and eclectic. So that's what I kind of tried to do with this house. And I could obviously really tap into the sort of person that would live here. On my travels, I started traveling when I was 19 actually. I, I didn't finish college. I, I went to college and then did a year and then just failed to tell anyone that I wasn't going back for the second year and uh, disappeared off to Camp America and I did um, three months well three months in total I think because I did a bit of traveling afterwards and I went to uh, Pennsylvania um, in a Camp America camp if you don't know what they are uh, basically the kids get shipped off to this this camp for like eight weeks and we, the camp counsellors, in inverted commas, look after them. So you can specialise in something or you can just be a general, kind of help out the kids. And that's what I was. I just kind of looked after my bunch of kids for eight weeks and I absolutely loved it. Anyway, I got the travel bug from that. I then did two really big trips after that. I went to Southeast Asia for three months, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Sumatra, Bali. Um, and then went to Australia and spent almost a year in Australia after that. Um, oh, I love Australia. I just love, 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 love it. Um, I actually spent my 21st birthday in Sydney. So that was really fun. Um, and then I didn't feel like I'd finished my trip. So I went back to Australia um, again. And the second time I went, I went via Hong Kong. And then on the way home, it's not really the way home, but anyway, I went to Auckland, New Zealand, and then went to Las Vegas afterwards because after like all that traveling I did of sleeping in like dorm rooms and stuff um got like this massive hotel room in it in uh, Las Vegas <laughs> which was really fun anyway so I'm just telling you now about all my travels I've done a lot of traveling and if you know from my last video I was cabin crew as well so I did a lot of world traveling I didn't get to see much I mean I saw a lot of hotel rooms um but I saw quite a few beaches and went to New York oh I love New York um yeah I have been really lucky I have seen lots of places and I've just got the travel bug um ironically considering I live in England I really know nothing about England I live in the south of England if you can tell from my accent um I live south London or south of London and yeah I don't even know like north of the river which for me is north England <laughs> which is ridiculous which is north London anything north of London I consider north I'm such a southerner um anyway so I don't really know anything of England and I don't really know much about Europe either so I, that's probably what I need to take advantage of next uh, living so close to all these places but obviously no one can travel at the moment and yeah uh, we're now stuck indoors but that's okay we can live vicariously through the sims can't we and we can travel to where can we travel to we travel to the equivalent of china egypt and france i've only been to france in real life so um although yeah i did go to hong kong and singapore so kind of that area ish i know it's not china but you know what i mean it's kind of that direction but egypt never been there that would be amazing wouldn't it anyway if anyone's been to egypt if anyone's been to any of these like real life countries 
uh, yeah, let me know. And I'd love to know where you've been or where you're from, actually. Tell me where you're from in the comments. That'd be really cool. Um, even if you're just from around the corner to me, I'm just curious as to where you are. Um, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> I just love to do in this house. It was just fun and eclectic. And like I said, I kind of visualized almost myself living here. So I'd imagine it'd be for a single sim. Um, as you can see from the bed uh, cover there, um, probably a female, but you know, whatever. Um, oh, I did use the buy debug cheat um, for this, which I wouldn't normally, but I knew that I wanted some of the bits from World Adventures in there to really look like this person had been traveling and had collected things from around the world. So I put some of the kind of the relics in, like a little bowl um, and some of the, a couple of the statues, little ones, and um, what else did I put in the camera? Um, oh, and also in the back garden, which I think I'm about to do actually, um, I put in a tent because you know, why you don't always want to sleep in a double bed. Sometimes it's a nice day, you know, maybe you want to sleep outside and re recreate the travel experience. <laughs> I don't know. I also put, um, put in some of the plants that you can find in the um, in the world. So I think I've put um, a couple of the trees that you can find in France and, a couple, and some of the grapes as well. Um, and you might have noticed in the kitchen, I put like the nectar racks as well. So yeah, I, I this is great fun. Great, 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 great fun. I think I'm nearly finished actually by the looks of it. Um, this didn't take me too long at all. I'm not even sure what to tell you anymore. I've kind of, I've run out of things to say. You'll be pleased to know. Oh, did you see that? I put in the little mummified teddy bear as well. Oh, and as you can see here, I've put in some of the martial arts stuff and the, the Vespa, the, um, the little scooter thing as well from World Adventures. That sign that you can just see there, um, I put in there because thought it would be fun. I thought it would look like something you just randomly pick up on your travels, but I couldn't change the color of it and it was a bit too orange, so I did change that. Oh, I put in an incense holder as well. Basically, I've, I mean, you can see from the screenshots in a minute, but yeah, it's just random stuff. Clutter as well. If I had my CC, I would have put even more clutter in there, but um, I'm pretty pleased with it. And even the plants, like the lavender plants outside, they were, again, World Adventures that came with the World Adventures pack. So I tried to, where I could, mainly use only things from the World Adventures pack. Um, I apologize that this build is a bit all over the place. I didn't sort of start with a particular room. I did just kind of look through, see what was World Adventures first, and then kind of built around it. So, uh, yeah, it might be a bit sporadic. But hey, this build is sporadic and a bit crazy. So, yeah. I wonder where we can travel soon. I really want to go away. The last trip I did actually is <laughs> hardly a trip. I mean, it makes it sound like I'm really like cultured, but I went to Disney. Oh, amazing. I, um, I went to Florida Disney and I only went for, I think five days, maybe six days. Oh my gosh, I crammed so much in. I went with my flatmate and we did, I think it was six theme parks in five days, something like that. Oh my gosh, we were just, my feet were killing me. Oh look, we're at the screenshots already. Um, yeah, so there's no like Disney vibes in this one, but I'm sure uh, if I had CC, I'd throw in a couple of Disney things as well, just to make it realistic for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, I need to fill up my fish bowl. Look, I'll put a little fish bowl in there. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the screenshots. We are very, very close to finishing now. I hope you enjoyed my little rambling. And yeah, please let me know in the comments where you're from, whether you like this video, whether you like the build. And uh, I will see you again soon. All my World Adventures videos are now up on my rewind as well if you want to see what I thought of the pack. Thanks very much for watching and see you again for next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video and if you could subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to hit the bell icon, you'll receive updates of when I upload a new video. And obviously, please share with your friends if you enjoyed it. Thanks very much. See you in the next one.